guys, welcome back to my channel. I was actually thinking the other day, I haven't actually done a video in the past comparing the Prismacolor pencils and the Faber-Castell polychromos. And considering my channel is mainly about colored pencils, I was thinking, how have I not done that already? So I thought it's about time that I actually compare these two major brands and talk to you about the pros and cons of each and which ones you should get for different things. So let's get straight into it. Also, just before I start, I want to let you guys know that I've started up a brand new vlogging channel where I'm going to be pretty much posting to it every single day. And on that channel, you'll be able to see behind the scenes stuff on the art that I'm creating, the content that I'm creating, and stuff like how to edit videos and photos, as well as a lot of Q&A sections where I'll be answering all of your guys' questions. So if you want to ask me any questions, make sure you check it out. You can find it on my art channel page. It'll be a featured channel or in the description. So let's talk about the Prismacolor pencils and the polychromos. Firstly, Prismacolors are wax based and polychromos are oil based. So what this means is that the Prismacolors are really smooth, really soft and really creamy because they are wax based. Whereas the polychromos on the other hand are a lot harder because they are oil based. Also, when it comes to layering, they are both really, really great at layering with both the Prismacolor and the Polychromos. You can do multiple layers and I'm showing you here with three different colors for each, how you can layer and you would be able to do even more layers than this if you wanted to. The paper that I'm using is the Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper and you can see even when you don't have much tooth and texture to your paper, you can still get a lot of layers with both of these colored pencil brands. So in terms of layering, you can't go wrong with either of them. Now let's talk about detail. How much detail can you get with these pencils and the fine detail? Well, with Prismacolor, it's not great. You get a bit of fuzzy edges if you try to do lots of really detailed thin lines. Whereas with the Polychromos, you can get a lot more crisp, high detail with it and you can get a lot of fine little details that you want to for example little tiny hairs if you're drawing fur and that means that I think that the polychromos are far superior when it comes to detailed work. So what are these two brands of pencils best for? Well, in my opinion, I think the Prismacolors are really, really good for portraits purely because of the fact that they are so creamy and they blend so well because they have that wax-based formula. And so they are great for portraits or anything where you want smooth blending. And they're also great for cartoons because of the fact that cartoons have a lot of solid colors. On the other hand, polychromos are great for animals because of the fact that they can have such a lot of detail to them and also that means that I use them for anything where I want a lot of detail. Now, a lot of the time with colour pencils, I like to blend with solvent. And so it's really important for me that my colour pencils work well with solvent. But in this case, both of them do work great with solvent. You can see that I'm going to lay a few colours and show you just a little quick demonstration of what results you can get with solvent using this. And so the solvent that I'm using is the Zest Dip Pencil Blend. And this has a very citrus smell to it. And I am using a Sable Filbert brush, size 12. That's just a De La Rowney brush. And I like to blot off any excess solvent onto a piece of tissue. Now, when it comes to solvent, you don't just have to use the Zestip Pencil Blend. You could use paint thinner or Gamsol or Terpenoid or even an alcohol-based marker. And all of them work really well and in a similar way. And as you can see, I'm just applying a bit of that solvent onto these Prismacolors. And you can see it just makes those colours so much more vibrant. And I definitely think it makes the Prismacolors a lot more vibrant than it does with the Polychromos. In terms of actually blending with the solvent though, they both do a great job and as you can see, you get a nice smooth finish. And what's really great about solvent is the fact that once that dries, you can go and add more layers. But in my opinion, you do get slightly more vibrant colors with the Prismacolor pencils. And so next we're gonna be talking about burnishing and both of them do well with burnishing but Prismacolors do a bit better because of the fact that they are wax based and they are so creamy, the colors blend together a lot easier. And you can see that I'm burnishing a few of these colors together. And for you guys that don't really know what burnishing is, Burnishing is basically where you apply a lot of pressure to the pencil so that you're flattening out the tooth of the paper and this means that you're basically damaging and flattening the tooth of the paper so it's hard to add additional layers on top. But what it means is that you're getting rid of all of the white grain of the paper like the little white spots that show in between so you get a really solid colour. And it can be tricky when you're trying to blend two colours together to get that smooth 
finish when you're burnishing and that's why it's important to have colored pencils that work well with burnishing. So as you can see they both do a good job, they both do a great job but my, in my opinion I think Prismacolors do a slightly better job if you want to burnish a whole large area whereas with Faber-Castells it is so much more work to try and burnish them together. It's a lot easier with Prismacolors. Onto the colour range, the Prismacolors do have a larger range with 150 colours but Polychromos have a decent size range as well, 120 colours, they're both large ranges which is great but if you want loads and loads of colours then Prismacolor is the one for you. In terms of wax bloom, Prismacolor has really bad wax bloom whereas Polychromos don't get any wax bloom. If you're unsure what wax bloom actually is then it basically means once you leave your drawings for a bit it creates this white transparent film on the top which you have to wipe off so it's not a very nice thing to have to deal with. Next is light fastness. Light fastness is so important if you want to actually sell your artwork. This basically means how fast your colours fade. Prismacolor unfortunately has quite bad light fastness ratings. Many of the colours in the set will fade quite quickly whereas Polychromos have much better light fastness ratings. A lot less of the colours are going to fade over time. There are still a couple of colours that aren't great with the light fastness but the large majority have good or excellent light fastness ratings. Next we're on to the actual price of these pencils. So if you're a beginner you might not want to spend too much on coloured pencils and it's really important for you to know the price. Prismacolors are really really cheap for a 72 set it's only £34 so it's about like 50p for one pencil whereas on the other hand the polychromos are a lot more expensive for a 60 set of the polychromos that comes in at £72 so you can see there's a massive difference in price and the set of polychromos is actually fewer colours than the Prismacolors. Vibrancy is something that's really important. You want to know how rich your colours are going to be and how pigmented they're going to be. Well, with both of these coloured pencil sets, they do both give off really vibrant and rich colours. So that's something that you don't have to worry about either way which you go with these coloured pencils. Now, the build quality of the pencils is really important. The Prisma colours have got a much cheaper pencil quality. And because of that, it means that they are a lot more prone to breakage, whereas the Polychromos have a much better build quality. They are much, you can just tell by looking at them, they are so much better in terms of build quality, which means they hardly break. Here's a little close-up. You can see the Prisma colours doesn't aren't concealed at the end. It's just the wood casing with the lead. You can see that they are very thin. They are a lot thinner than the Polychromos pencil, which means that they're easier to shatter. And I find that the Prisma colours do break quite a lot when I sharpen them compared to the Polychromos. So now you can see the Polychromos is a lot thicker. The barrel of the pencil is so much thicker, and it's concealed at the end. And this might not matter to you, but it is nice to have a pencil quality that is really good, especially if you're paying quite a lot for the pencil set. You want to know that you can make the most of your pencils and they're not just going to break if you drop them once on the floor. So you can see here the comparison between them. The Polychromos is a lot thicker and for me it is a big deal that the manufacturing of the pencil is really high quality. Now onto smudging, when you're working with coloured pencils you don't want to have your pencils smudging if you move your hand and with coloured pencils in particular it's hard to erase any of the smudging. So I'm just comparing them both to see which one smudges more and so the Prismacolor doesn't really smudge, I was pressing really hard with my finger to see if it would smudge at all and you got a bit of transfer of the colour but I was pressing really really hard but on the Polychromos there was a bit more transfer, still not major amounts and I was applying quite a lot of pressure with my finger and you wouldn't really be doing that when you're accidentally smudging. So overall, I don't think it's a big deal. The Polychromos do smudge a little bit more, but overall, neither of them smudge massively. And finally, the most important thing for me with a colour pencil set is the white pencil. I use it a lot and I want to know it's opaque and it's going to go over those dark colours. The Prismacolor actually has a really good white pencil, it's nice and opaque and it does go over the dark colours really well. Whereas the Polychromos white is absolutely awful, it's very translucent and it doesn't go over those dark colours well at all. So if you're going for the Polychromos set, which I often use, I use a different white pencil, either Prismacolor or the Caran d'Ache Luminance. 
If you guys want to learn even more about colored pencils, then you can check out my new course on colored pencil portraits. Or if you want to follow along with me in real time, then I have got tons of tutorials over on my Patreon for color pencil, graphite, watercolor, lots of other mediums as well, doing both portraits and animal drawings. So make sure you check that out. A link will be in the description and as an end card. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what your favourite brand of coloured pencils is and make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you're new around here. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.